Hello? Anne? Are you here? Anne? Oh, Commander. Yes, I'm sorry. Just... This is hard. Of course. Are you all right? Yes. No. I don't know. <clears throat> My father and I didn't leave things in a great state. An argument? Yes. It was trivial. A disagreement on how to file some of the specimens. I was mad about something else. I don't remember what. And I took it out on him. S so stupid. It's all right. I can come back. No, please. I'm okay. Seeing all this again? He was so obsessed. Crazy sometimes. I didn't get a chance to know him. Oh, sometimes I felt the same way. He was a great man. A pioneer. But he could be distant. I felt like an inconvenience growing up. You sound angry. I was angry. Still am, I guess. But sometimes, he was so full of stories, he nearly burst. I loved that about him. It's why I signed up for this work. <sighs> I can't believe he's gone. We'll figure this out. We have to. I need to know what's on the other end of that artifact. What he died for. We need your help. You're our last chance. You're right. Let me dig into my father's work to see what I can find. Anne, you sure you're up for this? Yes. When Leviathan took control of me, I remember being somewhere cold and dark. But my father taught me to never be afraid of the dark. Hey, loco. Need a hand? What brings you down here, James? Saw what happened to Anne back at the dig site. That ain't right. Well, make yourself comfortable. Commander, you see this thing? This is great! Hey, Edie, the husk bites, they don't turn you into a husk or anything, right? I recommend you apply Metagel. Hey, if nobody claims this thing, we could take it with us. You know, for research or, I don't know, whatever. All right, just don't tell anybody. Nice! You think Esteban will let me set up bowling pins in the cargo bay? I'm still amazed your father got his hands on a piece of a reaper. He was so excited. Your claims validated years of work. Did you take appropriate steps to prevent indoctrination? Of course. It was completely shielded. 
and we all had regular psyche valves. But now, thanks to the artifact, I'm indoctrinated anyway, aren't I? Might as well be a Rachni drone waiting for orders from the Queen. You studied the Rachni? I wrote my dissertation on them. My father thought it was a waste of time, but now? It might actually help us understand Leviathan. In what way? We think of the Rachni as telepathic, but there's really no such thing. At short range, the Queen uses pheromones to give orders. At long range, she uses an organic kind of quantum entanglement communicator. Whatever Leviathan does must be similar. Entangling particles to stimulate neural activity. It uses the artifact to establish a connection, and then it controls the mind of anyone near it. We didn't detect any energy emissions from the artifact. But the Reapers were able to use the artifact to trace Leviathan somehow. My theory is that, most of the time, the artifact simply acts as a receiver. We'll only be able to trace Leviathan through it when it actively takes control of someone. As it did on the asteroid. Right. Unless it needs something, Leviathan doesn't bother communicating. I guess it and my father had something in common. You said Leviathan's control was similar to a quantum entanglement communicator, which is untraceable. Yes. But this isn't a natural QEC. Leviathan has to send a pulse through the artifact to alter your mind and create the quasi-QEC effect. And that can be traced. Right. Just like at the dig site. The Reapers were tracing the signal by activating the artifact. My father wanted to be at that dig site. He was getting too old for long digs. But he hated being stuck in the lab. He nearly missed my graduation because he was on a dig. Showed up still wearing his field gear. God. He'd have hated dying here. Anne, I know this is hard, but if there's anything more you can tell us... I don't think there's anything more I can tell you. But maybe I can show you. What are you saying? The artifact only sends out a signal when Leviathan's controlling someone. So let it control me. You could trace the signal. You mean let it take you over? That's too dangerous. It's my call, not yours. You said I'm your last chance to find this thing. We have no idea what will happen. If we wait, the Reapers will get to Leviathan first. I'm the only one here who's spent enough time with it to do this. You're looking for something to fight the Reapers, Commander. I'm looking for the monster that murdered my father. We still don't know what we're looking for. Then let's find out. Commander, this thing we're doing with Anne sounds dangerous as hell. Noted. Edie? Energy signature locked in. Waiting for activation. You sure about this? Yes. I'm sure. I'm gonna be right here. Okay. I'm ready. James, drop the containment shield. Shield is dropped. Artifact online. Anything? Nothing yet. Wait. There's something. I feel a chill. Edie? No trace yet. What the hell? Signal is tracking. Maintain connection. Turn back. The darkness can't be breached. Yo! Maintain connection. Listen to me. I found you. And the Reapers are right behind me. You have brought them. You are a threat. So are you. I've seen what you can do. The war needs you. There is no war. There is only the harvest. Edie, do we have enough? Partial lock. Maintain connection to narrow the search. You heard her. We got enough. I'm hitting the shield. Do it. Anne, are you all right? Yes. I think so. Did we get anything? Yes, but it will take some time to search. 
coordinates sent to the Normandy. Good. It's a start. Commander, I sense something else. Anger. It knows we're getting close. I think it wants to kill you. Come on. Let's get you some help. These coordinates match our trace of Leviathan. Cortez, what's the status on the probe we launched? Tracking it now, Commander. I've confirmed that Leviathan's signal originates from this planet. Heard how, uh, Anne helped us locate it. It's pretty spooky stuff. Given the circumstances, what are we expecting to find down there? Bryson's team called it a Reaper killer. From what we've seen, it doesn't want to be found. It doesn't have a choice. We're here. Yes, but then what? If this is a Reaper, how can we ally ourselves with it? They are monsters, never to be trusted. Nobody says we have to be friends with it. But if this thing has the rest of the Reapers worried, then we need its help. Commander, new readings from the probe. It's narrowed down Leviathan's location. You're not gonna like it. Let's hear it. There's nothing but ocean. I show a concentration of structures floating on the surface, but the probe's giving us a signal below that. Way below. Underwater? Looks that way. The shuttle should still be able to reach it. That's possible. The Kodiak is spec to nearly a thousand atmospheres, but I've never actually tested that. Guess we're gonna find out. Status! Some kind of pulse hit us! Systems are shutting down! Brace for impact! How's the shuttle, Cortez? Checking now. I'll see if I can get power restored. Copy that. And we'll look around. Look at all this. Whatever that pulse was, we're not the first to get hit. Could be Leviathan's last line of defense. Why no one gets out of here. 
Any idea how old these are? Old enough not to stink. Situation.
Okay, we're clear. Nice work, Commander. But there's a development. We need to talk. getting out of here until we find it. So how do we do that? Well, you might be able to use a mech. Looks like it's rigged for diving. Diving mech? It's a Triton model. Military grade. Repurposed for deep sea exploration. As long as the seawater hasn't corroded, it should be good to go. Well, if that's what we have to do, let's get started. Wait a minute. Are we seriously considering... First... We'll need to restore power to get that cargo door open. How? It appears we are. These old Ballard class ships are equipped with exterior power sockets. They use them for emergency repairs. We can strip the cells from the shuttle and use those for juice. Hang on, I'll get you started. We got a cell for you, Commander. Find somewhere to plug that in.
All right, Commander. Let's get you out of there, and I'll do a systems check. Commander, risk is rarely a hindrance. This plan, even I won't hesitate. We've come too far to stop now. The way home is through Leviathan. Okay, SEALs, check out. Oxygen pressure is nominal. Systems are a go. It's as ready as I can make it. Let's go. Take care down there, Commander. Closing hatch. Engaging systems. Ready. Testing comm link. I read you. Here goes. Looks good so far. Copy that. Cortez? Cortez! Not sure if you can read me up there. Looks like I finished the major descent. Can't see much from here. The suit is holding up. Emergency systems have come online. Life support operation. The scanner indicates the probe is below my position. Looking for a way down. Shutting down all non-critical systems to preserve remaining power. Not sure how much juice the emergency thruster will need to get me back to the surface. Can't worry about that now. Getting some strange readings from the probe. Something is definitely down there. Reading the probe directly below me. It looks like the final drop. Can't see anything just yet. Keep moving.
You killed a Reaper. I need to know why. They are the enemy. One that seeks our extermination. But... I thought you were a Reaper. They are only echoes. We existed long before. Then what are you? Something more. <coughs> Your mind belongs to me. Breathe. <coughs> and <coughs> what's happening? galaxies at war with the Reapers. You defeated one. Why aren't you fighting back? There is no war. There is only the harvest. Then help us stop it. None have possessed the strength in past cycles. Your own species can be destroyed with a single thought. But you are different. I have witnessed your actions in this cycle. The destruction of Sovereign. The fall of the Collectors. The Reapers perceive you as a threat, and I must understand why. Before the cycles, our kind was the apex of life in the galaxy. The lesser species were in our thrall, serving our needs. We grew more powerful than they were cared for. But we could not protect them from themselves. Over time, the species built machines that then destroyed them. Tribute does not flow from a dead race. To solve this problem, we created an intelligence with a mandate to preserve life at any cost. As the intelligence evolved, it studied the development of civilizations. Its understanding grew until it found a solution. In that instant, it betrayed us. It chose our kind as the first harvest. From our essence, the first reaper was created. You call it... Harbinger. You built that machine despite what you saw the other races experience. Why? You cannot conceive of a galaxy that bends to your will. Every creature, every nation, every planet we discovered became our tools. We were above the concerns of lesser species. The intelligence was envisioned as simply another tool. And now we all pay the price for your mistake. There was no mistake. It still serves its purpose. How did the intelligence defeat you? To find a solution, it required information. Physical data drawn from organic life in the cosmos. It created an army of pawns that searched the galaxy, gathering this data. There was no warning. No reason given when they turned against us. Only slaughter. Only the harvest. How did you remain hidden all this time? Our extermination was not complete. Some survived and found refuge in the dark corners of the galaxy. I am their progeny. Over the cycles, the thrall races were controlled, removing traces of our existence as we directed them to. In this way, our survival was kept secret from the Reapers. Today, we reach out through the fragments and watch for discovery. Fragments? You mean the artifacts we found? They provide a window into the galaxy. Tools for exploring the events of this cycle for the safety of this world. Through them, we watch, we study, and remain in the shadows. Tell me about the Reapers. Each harvest ends with the birth of a reaper, perfect in its design. 
Stop the cycle. I have searched your mind. You are an anomaly, yet that is not enough. Wait! The cycle will continue. No. You've been watching. You know this cycle is different. We will survive. You will remain here as a servant of our needs. The Reapers will harvest the rest. If you release me, no one has to be harvested. The Reapers know where you are. You can't just watch anymore. You have to fight. Even if you survive the battle today, the Reapers won't stop. Ever. Release me and we have a chance to end this once and for all. You should be. It is clear why the Reapers perceive you as a threat. Your victories are more than a product of chance. We will fight, but not for you or any lesser race. We were the first, the Apex race. We will survive. And the Reapers who trespass on this world will understand our power. They will become our slaves.
Shepard! Goddess! He's freezing! <coughs> Are you all right? <coughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Hell of a headache. We're lucky we got you back. I've got Ann Bryson on the comm. Good. Put her through. Commander. You feeling better? Yes, thank you. I'm doing fine. What happened? We found it, Ann. We found Leviathan. Was it worth it? I don't know. But we proved it can't hide anymore. That it's a part of this war, just like us. Sounds like an amazing story. One for the history books. Well, I look forward to hearing all about it. My father would appreciate this, knowing the truth is out there. In the meantime, Admiral Hackett has asked me to join his scientific team. We all have our part to play. I should get to it. Take care, Ann. And thanks for all your help. Shepard up. Commander, I finished reading your report. The Alliance wanted more intelligence on the Reapers. I'd say we got it. Our people will be studying it for years to come. They're already calling it the Leviathan Codex. It rewrites galactic history as we know it. Whatever else it means, it tells me the Reapers had a beginning. And maybe now we'll provide them with an end. That's one way to look at it. I guess it's the only way. So go out there and make it happen. This is a big step in the right direction, Shepard. Good work. Thank you, sir. Hack it out. So the Reapers did not fully exterminate their creators. That suggests they are fallible even on large or long-term scales. Can't say I was happy sending you down in that submersible by yourself. Don't know why I ever worry about you. Take on ancient aliens from the deep? Sure, no problem. I appreciate you checking in on me. Sir. With the Leviathan on our side, maybe we pull this thing off after all. Maybe, James. At least Anne's still around to see her dad's work finally pay off. Hey. I was just thinking about the Banshees. The Asari are so beautiful. And to see that done to them. The Reapers have done the same to most intelligent species they've encountered. Humans, Batarians, Turians, and even Krogan have been modified into Reaper foot soldiers. But not Quarians. No. The Reapers have not encountered your people in significant numbers. You don't think it's because of our weakened immune systems? No. Hmm. I just assumed we weren't useful. Quarians are intelligent, adaptable, and technically adept. You would make excellent Reaper soldiers. Thanks, E.D. I think... Tally, the Normandy has benefited greatly from your work, and your people are providing vital support in the war effort. We wouldn't be doing as well without the Geth. And we wouldn't be doing as well without you. Thank you, Tally. So we have Leviathan. I hope it stays on our side. Thanks for coming by. I've been thinking about what we learned, Shepard. The thing is, I don't really care what the Reapers are or where they're from. They're monsters that need to be put down. That's all I need to know. Hey. Shepard, I looked over your mission report. Gotta say, it feels like we've been after these Reapers forever. From Sovereign to Leviathan, they've been a pain in the ass the whole time. But at least we're starting to see the big picture. Never really thought we'd get any answers. Doesn't change much, but it does make this war feel a whole lot bigger. 
later. Greetings, Commander. I can only imagine talking to something so huge, so alien. I hope it helps against the Reapers. Good to see you again, Shepard. studied your human religions, Commander. Your devil and his fall. Leviathan and its kind deserve the same fate. They once unleashed a plague that has haunted all of our history. To this day, I say their own hell is the abyss you found them in. One I hope they never escape from. Commander. <laughs> 